Hey, Larry Fish. It is the 30th of March, 2024. I do pray you're well. Hanging in there. I have so many different interesting things. But the video I made before the last one, on the 23rd, The World Beguiled, Shushan Purim, The Water Unto My Soul, when I was showing you this uh, sculpture that they put in New York and how that was related to the whole 9-11 and Obama and all these things. But what I want to show you is pretty wild, man. If I can just click the right buttons here. Here we go. If we go to the sculpture, Water's Soul in New York City, look where it sits, you guys right on the line that sculpture sits right there there she is facing due east and she's right next to the line just like the bridge but this is what really caused me to want to just share this with you real quick let's go right from the the top of her head okay and make a line and we'll go back down to the bridge I can't believe how exactly parallel with that line that is. That just To me, I just don't have words for it. But to the literal pillar, look at those measurements there. It's not a fraction over or a fraction under 169 miles to the literal place on the bridge that the ship hit. And it is exactly parallel. Right through Philadelphia, which is a whole nother thing that I'm finding out here. Right to Water's Soul. Psalm 69. Man, oh man. But also, Francis Key was the vice president, you know, of the American Bible Society, which I thought was very interesting. And he was a lawyer. And what did Jesus say in Luke 11? Woe unto you, lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge, and ye entered not in yourselves, and them that were entering you hindered. He was a mason. He was a devout Episcopalian. If you dig into that, you'll see where the errors are. Okay, And to the day of his death, he was the vice president of the American Bible Society. And we just happen to now have Trump selling Bibles for $59.99. I'm proud to be partnering with my very good friend, Lee Greenwood. Who doesn't love his song, God Bless the USA, in connection with promoting the God Bless the USA Bible. This Bible is the King James Version and also includes our Founding Father documents. Yes, the Constitution, which I'm fighting for every single day very hard to keep Americans protected. Also, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, and the Pledge of Allegiance are all part of this. God bless the USA Bible. And it's just very important and very important to me. I want to have a lot of people have it. You have to have it for your heart, for your soul. Many of you have never read them and don't know the liberties and rights you have as Americans and how you are being threatened to lose those rights. It's happening all the time. It's a very sad thing that's going on in our country, but we're going to get it turned around. If I'm president, it's going to come back so fast you won't even believe it. You watch. Religion and Christianity are the biggest things missing from this country. And I truly believe that we need to bring them back, and we have to bring them back fast. I think it's one of the biggest problems we have. That's why our country is going haywire. We've lost religion in our country. All Americans need a Bible in their home, and I have many. It's my favorite book. It's a lot of people's favorite book. We need to bring back religion and Christianity. Well, there's plenty of religion, but there's very few real Christians. And he talks about the Bible being his favorite book. He has many of them. Yet he himself, just last month, at the Broadcasters Convention, laughingly told the world that he hardly even knows it at all. 
And he said, uh, no, he may not know the Bible as well as some. He may not know every passage. He may not know it actually so well at all. This Bible is a reminder that the biggest thing we have to bring back America and to make America great again is our religion. Religion is so important. It's so missing, but it's going to come back, and it's going to come back strong, just like our country is going to come back strong. This goes on for several more minutes. I'll link the entire thing in the description box. But I hope you see how wrong this actually is. I'll just share a couple other snips. Our founding fathers did a tremendous thing when they built America on Judeo-Christian values. Now that foundation is under attack, perhaps as never before. The term Judeo-Christian is an oxymoron. The two are diametrically opposed, as Judaism vehemently rejects the Messiah in Jesus Christ. The two are not compatible. Therefore, it is a misleading and muddying term that will lead people to go astray and turn to the Jews, the ones who possess the oracles of God. This is how it's going to be presented. And you're going to have your morality legislated to you. That's their idea of religion coming back into the world. A one world moral religion based on not Judeo-Christian values, but on the Antichrist spirit. The legions of Americans asking to make America great again. The legions of Americans, the legions of Americans. There you have it. Let's make America pray again. God bless you and God bless the USA. Altered Bibles pushing the declaration in the Constitution, calling Christians legions, the MAGA, the Judeo-Christian. I mean, that's like oil and water. It's just an amazing time and a lot of amazing things we're seeing. But I really wanted to share that. Oh, and the Civil War connections are pretty insane, too. I mean, there's a lot here, you guys. But I really wanted to show you this. That's the eclipse path, by the way. I had to show you that. Exactly 169 miles from the bridge to that crazy sculpture. Water's soul just blows you away, man. So I just wanted to share that with you. Much, much more happening. God willing, I'll be back soon to share some more with you. God bless each and every one of you. Truly, peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,